There it is. Six inch double D Xterra. 18.75 kilohertz waterproof coil. I've been waiting all morning for it. It's uh, five minutes before two on a Friday. I'm going to give her a spin here, I hope, in a few minutes just for a short test. Probably won't get to go hunting, but I'll test her out in that field because i got to go by and pick up some new uh, sunglasses from uh, my optician. And then I'll swing by there and give her a short spin. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. See you later, buddy. Well, let me say this. The first thing I notice about this coil, look how thick the ears are. That's the way coils should be made. I mean, most of the coils that I buy have bought, have in my possession at this time, have nice thick ears on. The uh, SE Pro had stock Pro coil was kind of thin. But look at this, both these coils here. Look how thin they are. This is the 3 kilohertz concentric and the uh, 7.5 concentric is the same. You can see, look, look at that. That ain't too cool. A lot of people break them. I've never had any problems with them, but you can see how, especially when it's cold and they get brutal, they would crack. But I don't think you're going to crack this bad boy here. God, amazing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, we got the new coil. Got Jack over there by his tree. Got the new spectacles. Polar rise for the summer. Stand by. Well, I might be amazed already. I've been over this one particular spot right here by this cedar tree that you've seen many times. I've been in this area many times right here. And right here, I get this iron sound. Let me take the unplug it so you can hear it. Hear that iron? Well, right here, get that little grunt. Let me put it on 99 toes. You might be able to hear it better. It's going to be anything at night, but it sounds good. Stand by. On top of a big piece of iron, you can see it right there. See it? Big piece of iron. They just got fooled by that iron. There's another nail in there besides the iron. So now I can't get anything. Anything good, that is. Okay, stand by. There it is. Took me 10 minutes to find it. It can hear it better than a pinpointer could hear it. I had to use this. I had to usually, actually pick it up with my hands, the dirt, and, and scan it over the coil like I used to. Before there were pinpointers to find it, I couldn't find it with a pinpointer. Well, I'm in the same spot as I was three minutes ago. I moved about five feet towards that cedar tree, 
Now I know you all have seen me hunt around in a cedar tree. We, we've been hunting around in a cedar tree since the first day we got here. Me, Kenny, and John. We found a lot of targets around this, this tree. Ain't no way I could have missed this. But there it is. Popped in like 28. Loud and clear. It's a little rivet or button or, you know, some kind of rivet looking thing. But I mean, it, it came right out of that hole about four inches deep. I guess what there's a lot of iron right maybe it got masked up by the iron but I don't know but that little baby there that six inch core sucked it right out of there so far I'm very impressed okay I moved uh, maybe four feet right here listen iron iron right in the middle of that iron There's something good right there. Stand by. Well, I'm impressed again for the third time. Right against that cedar tree again. There's another grommet, button, rivet. It looks like it had a piece of steel on it or pushed up against it. I get it home, I'll get it cleaned up a little bit. You can see it's got some kind of, looks like steel right on the dead on the top of it. But the back of it seems to be copper or brass. But she knocked that baby right out at 18. I don't know what's going to be in here, but it's a good sound. Four, four, six, and eight. Lots of glass. Look at the glass. Feels like a piece of aluminum. Yeah, it is. Well, maybe it ain't. Ran by. I don't know what it is. One time I thought it was a piece of a fishing pole, but the end of a fishing pole, but I don't think so now. Stand by. Oh my. Look at that hole. Look at that. Look at that hole right there. Look how much dirt I got out of it. Oh my god, what am I crazy here? <laughs> Look at that little taquito. God, I can't believe it. A strong 10. I don't know, it must be, I don't know. Some hinge of some sort. That was a hinge. We walk about six feet. Solid 12. I know it's jumpy, but it's right on 10 and 12. Stand by. Get out. Solid 4, solid 6. copper right off the get-go some kind of sharpie mellow piece copper maybe well junior opened up my eyes today but I'm not sure it's a good thing I mean I know it's a good thing but I don't know uh, like I said, we've been over this spot over and over and over and over and over and over with the uh, SE Pro, with the 7.5 concentric and the 3 kilohertz concentric, over and over. And I take Junior, with Junior coil with that 1875 double D 6 inch coil, and you can see what everything was missed. Now how we missed that brass... Uh, Hinge, I don't know. 
I guess we missed that because it was iron they got and all that. But for some reason, the eight point, I mean, the double D sixes hit that like it was a solid fine ticket. Now, when I found it, it was all balled up tight like this. But it was just five lengths of chain. It hit this, it hit this, this, this. These little taquitos right here are like they were big as half a dollar. And you can see they're not very big. But you would have thought they were big. So I'm impressed. But it just goes to show you what the bigger coils missed because of, I guess the iron close to them. And Junior got in between the iron and the the good targets but she missed a lot of little teeny targets some other coils did but they got all the big targets and all was left was the little stuff so I guess the jury is still out on uh, that baby I'm gonna take it to the rocks tomorrow if the tide gets off good there's no breeze I'm give her a test that's what I got her for the rocks but like I said I had an hour and a half to kill so I took her up to the field where I've been hunting and just tried to ride. Pretty good. I can't complain. Thank you, Mr. Kevin. You're a gentleman and a scholar.